What's up guys, it's Jay back again with Tech Everything. And today I'm back again with the second episode of the show where you get to show off your small form factor PC. Now I'm still not sure exactly what to call this thing. I've gone back and forth with a couple names, so leave some suggestions in the comments below. Let's not waste any more time. I've got five great builds for you today. Well, let's get started. Up first this week, we have Mike with a very unique build all the way from the Netherlands. He converted a 10 draw Mini ITX H110, which is a case I've never heard of, into a Mini ITX Beast. In the base of the case, he's rocking an i5-6500, 16 gigabytes of Crucial, 2400 RAM, a 256 gig Intel 600P, a Kingston 250 gigabyte hard drive, a Kingston 256 gigabyte SSD, a PicoBox 300 watt ATX PSU, and some custom cabling. He cut through the top plate of the case so he could install a full size RX 470 with custom Noctua fan mounts and a custom shroud. I gotta say this thing looks really cool. I've never seen anything quite like it to be honest and I'm a little jealous. He uses this beast for VR gaming in the living room. This is a truly unique build. Up next we have a submission from a personal friend of mine, Matt, and he has a custom cool Define S Nano build. Inside you will find the ASUS Z170 Pro Gaming Mini ITX motherboard with an Intel i7-670K, 32 gigs of G-Skill Ripjaw RAM, a one terabyte Samsung 850 EVO, an MSI GTX 1070 Seahawk, a Corsair RM650 for power, and hue lighting to light up the whole case. He's got a custom loop with EK blocks, a 240 and 120 millimeter bits power radiator. For a full list of his water cooling parts, you can check the article on the website. There's too many to list. He uses this build for gaming and work. It's a pretty cool all around machine and a cool setup. Up next, we have Edward and his portable ammo box build. It does not get much more unique than this. He fit a full VR capable gaming PC inside of a military style ammo box. The entire build is custom. He even built the internal frame himself. For components, he's running an ASUS H97i Plus motherboard, a Core i5-4590, 8 gigs of Corsair Vengeance Pro RAM, a Gigabyte GTX 970, a Be Quiet 400 watt SFX power supply, 240 gigabyte Corsair Neutron SSD, and he cools his CPU with a Noctua NHD9L. I'm really liking this build, it's super unique, it's got me inspired to build something on my own. Great build, Edward. I can't wait to see what your next project will be. Up next, surprise, surprise, we have Ruiz with an S4 Mini. This is a Mini from one of the more recent batches and it has a really, really nice red and silver color scheme. I thought I was in love with the all silver model we had last week, but this one is even cooler. Internally, you will find an MSI B150 Gaming Pro AC motherboard, a Core i3-6320, eight gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM, the Zotac GTX 1050 Mini, a 256 gigabyte Samsung 950 Pro, and a Pico 160 XT power kit to power the whole rig. He uses this just for a general everyday PC. He doesn't do a ton of gaming anymore, just some light video editing and productivity stuff. This is a great looking, awesome and functional build Ruiz and I love the way it matches the Texas A&M color scheme you have going on there. And last but not least, we have Heinz with the Toolbox PC. What separates this build from the rest is that it's not just a PC and a toolbox or briefcase, it has its own screen as well. Yes, the top portion houses a full 13.3 inch TV with speakers, and the bottom half has the full computer. This looks like an incredibly complex build, but the end result was really nice. Internally for components, he has a Gigabyte B85N, as well as a Core i3-4330, eight gigs of Crucial Ballistic Tactical Low Pro RAM, a GTX 750 Ti, and an FSP 300 watt SFX power supply. For storage, he has two Crucial M500 240 gigabyte SSDs, one MSATA and one 2.5 inch, as well as one 2.5 inch Western Digital 320 gigabyte hard drive. This is his main PC and he uses it for gaming, programming, and inventing when he's on the move. He has his own website where he did a full, very, very long and detailed build log. I'll link to that on the article on the website. So that wraps up episode two. Thanks for submitting, guys. If you want to see more information on the builds featured this week, you can check the link below to the full article. It's got more pictures, uh, write up for exactly what the user built the build for, how they use it, that sort of thing, and a full spec list. If you would like to submit your PC, I dropped the link for that below as well. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. I'm Jay. This is Tech Everything. 
and I'll see you next time.